Hi, I can see you. Hey guys, today I'm in the popular tourist town of Tagaytay, a little bit south of Manila. People come here to surf, they come here to see the tall volcano, and they come here to eat. Guess what I'm here for? My first stop is at Bulalo Point, and they're known for, well, they're Bulalo. Wow, this place is gorgeous. This is big, and check out the view. Here we go, here we go. Am I? Special Bulalo and uh, Kare Kare. Thank you. Did I all of a sudden become like a like a warlock and didn't know it because I, I got like two cauldrons in front of me? Wow. I love it when they bring me big pots and I get to open it myself. There's always a uh, you know food Christmassy feeling. Ooh. As soon as I lifted the lid, my mouth just like filled with saliva. This is the special balalo and this is the kare kare. And what balalo is, is basically just beef soup and they're made with Batangas beef, which is supposed to be the best beef in the Philippines. To say I'm excited, excitement can you, cannot even describe how I'm feeling right now. Look at that, this is the craziest thing. First of all, let me just attack this big bone right here. I'm gonna have to just lick it. Oh, the sauce, the gravy. Very beefy. I don't know what's exactly in here. Oh, it's a little sweet and it's, and it's very peanutty. It almost tastes like peanut butter. And this bone itself doesn't really have any marrow. I think the marrow is actually in this broth somewhere. Look at this. This beef has been stewed for a long time. You can tell, right? That thing. Oh, oh man. Yeah, that 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 is tender. Hmm. Oh, that's good. There are some vegetables in here. I feel. I think there's some green beans. Um, maybe a little eggplant. Mm -hmm. It's kind of weird, but my fork is busy looking for more goodies, so I'm gonna just like bite, just bite my rice. I got like a cone. And what you can also do, and to give you some shrimp paste, you know, take a little bit, mix it in here. Another bunch of beef. Mm. The shrimp paste, a little sweet. I feel like this thing is already kind of sweet from peanut butter. It would taste a lot better with some citrus and some heat. Give that a little mix. All right, I'm excited about this. A lot better. This is like the perfect thing to go with rice. Favorite part of this is just how ridiculously tender this beef is. That's all tender and cartilage right there. I feel like this this rice plate is it, just way too small. Mm, that is beefy. I gotta try this. This is the more traditional version. It's literally just pieces of beef, bone marrow, some lettuce, and the rest is broth. Oh wow. I prefer this one. I mean, no offense, this tasted good. It's beefy, it's peanutty, I like it, but this broth, man, this is unbelievably good. I'm sorry, you're gonna have to Make some way for my new best friend here. In the marrow. Oh, there's only a little bit at the bottom. Here's what I'm gonna do. Take that soup, pour it inside. <laughs> this is so awesome. Little citrus. All right, take a look at that right now. Cheers, guys. Oh, you are gonna be my official beef broth drinking cup. Look how much crazy amounts of beef is in here. Again, you know this has been stewed a long, long time. Look at that, I'm not using any effort and this beef is just, look at this. And it's got a good mix of cartilage, tendon, and lean beef. Oh my good lord. All right, this spoonful with some broth, a little bit of citrus. Mm, oh my god. Come here and get this, guys. You don't know it yet, this is what you need in your life right now. It is. If you've just been kind of like stumbling through live, kind of searching for something, yeah, you're looking for this. Right here. This will complete, yeah. It actually reminds me a lot of fuck. It's just that intense beefy flavor. I mean, just look at that. Oh, oh, that piece is gonna be good. Look at this piece. Oh. Mmm. You have made me so happy today. All right, a couple other things I gotta try. This is tawilis. This is fish found in the water right next to me. And what you do with these is take it for a swim inside some vinegar and then just take a bite. This is deep fried, so all the bones, I'm gonna chew through all that. Huh. Glad I got this. Oh, fish chip. This is another fish specialty here. This is called the boneless bangas. Wow. The texture is really chewy. It borderline tastes like chicken. Whoa. This is an extremely meaty fish. I'm gonna dip this in a little vinegar, see if that kicks it up a notch. Oh. Better with the vinegar. I bet you even better with some lemon. This is actually really good. Really no bones to worry about. Wow. 
This is surprisingly good. Take a bite of fish, take a sip of beef broth, look at the beautiful views. Great way to spend an afternoon. My favorite thing here today, hands down, the bolado. This one of the most amazing soups I've ever had. After this, my buddy the fish right here. Man, all right, let me finish this up and uh, there's more eating that's gonna happen. What's really interesting is that just like China, when you go to different provinces in the Philippines, the cooking style changes. They all have their own unique native dishes. So what I ate just now was very representative of this region in the Philippines. And I'm not done. There's still more food to be tried. The second place I'm going to is within a walking distance from the last place right here. Bali Sasayao. This restaurant is really cool. They have a huge dining room, but they also have like, look at this, like little, little huts. I wanted to try some popular Filipino dishes that I couldn't get at the other restaurant, but I saw seasick on the menu. I had to get it again here because I've only had it once and I fell in love with the dish. So I wanted to try another version of it. There's different types of seasick. There's shrimp, there's chicken, there's pork, there's all different sorts. And this is the shrimp version. Wow, thank you. Look at that. Heck yeah. That looks delicious. Wait till you see what they just brought. Anyway, back to the sea steak here. Mm. This one is a little creamier because I think they mixed the egg into the sea steak. The vegetables give it a nice crunch. Without the pork, I feel like this dish, it becomes a lot leaner. Obviously, a lot less fatty. It's still good, but I'm not as in love with this as I was with the previous version. Don't get me wrong. Still absolutely fantastically delicious. But that crispy sea steak, that was love at first bite. And you just don't forget that. Next up, this is a lumpia, and it's basically eggy crepe with veggies inside. And this is lumpia sauce, and you just push some of that sauce on this roll. Oh, it's coconutty, crunchy, and ridiculously refreshing. See some carrots, some lettuce, and definitely there's a lot of coconut in here. Mm. The outside wrap, I think it's so light. It's just like the most tender of all blankets, just cuddling those veggies. And the sauce is sweet, and there's a little ginger in there, and it's not overly powering, so when you take a bite, it's not like all you can taste is sugar. It's actually a really nice, subtle compliment to the refreshingness of this roll. Next up, this is the spicy concombre, and it's basically just spicy water spinach inside a coconut sauce. Oh. I've had this vegetable a lot of different ways. This might be one of my favorite ways to eat this. These things, they tend to pick up a lot of liquid or sauce because the, the stems, the inside of them, they're, they're hollow. And these things, right now, it's just filled with coconut flavor. Oh, that's lovely. 100% dim dish. This is great with rice. It almost tastes like a curry. You guys see how thick the sauce is? You pour that on some rice, that's good eating. And this beautiful creature, I've never had a dish served inside a coconut before with the coconut shavings attached. This is pancit. Again, a really popular Filipino food item. So I'm just gonna dig me some coconut, some noodles, some chicken. I was honestly not expecting so much flavor because it looks kind of simple. It just looks like some noodles and like a pretty regular chicken broth with some veggies. But I feel like the coconut is where it's making a lot of difference here. It gives it that extra sweet coconutty element that really sets this apart than any other noodles I've had before. I think out of all the Filipino dishes I've tried thus far, this is probably not one of my top favorite ones. And that's just my own personal opinion. You might love this dish. For me, it's good, it's just not great. This last soup dish is something that they said I had to get at this restaurant. This is uh, bird nest soup. If you guys don't know what that is, bird nest is basically bird's spit. But they said I just had to have this when I'm here, so all right, why not? All right, that completely took me. By surprise. It tastes like salty egg drop soup. Let me show you what a bird nest looks like. Here's one little bit. That That's what a bird nest is. And it's just it's a little crunchy. And supposedly the bird nest has a lot of nutrients that's good for you, but you can't really personally taste that in this soup. All right, one more dish. The one I think I've been anticipating above all else. And here it is. It's, it's not the uh, pancet again, trust me. This, this is beautiful. Probably one of the most popular Filipino desserts the Halo Halo, and it's, it's shaved ice with ice cream and a bunch of ingredients inside. I see some beans, I see some little, what I take to be pandan rice krispies, all sitting inside a coconut. Mm. Mm. I love the little jellos. And what is this? I think this is a flan. Mm. Some fermented bananas. That's great. And I love that it's inside a coconut. So get some fresh coconut shavings. A little jackfruit right there. Oh yeah. And guys, I'm definitely making my way through all the popular Filipino food items. And I'll tell you what, I'm loving this journey so far. Mm. I mean, most of everything I have so far on this trip, from the seafood to the coconut to, to all the pork, to the chili, to the citrus, I loved most things I've tried. And thank you guys so much for the suggestions because all the places I went to is from information sent from you. And you guys, you've been right on. But that's it. This wonderful dessert, 
wraps up another glorious food day. So thank you for watching. Thank you for chowing down with me. And until we all eat again, I'll see you later. Driving by a bunch of fruit vendors. Gotta get some fruit here. Look at this, look at all this mango steak. That's fantastic. What Can is? we get, uh, what's a very sweet pineapple? I just this one? Yeah. My cut up pineapple. That's juicy and sweet. Also rambutan mums. Rambutan? Mm. What's that, jackfruit? Yeah, jackfruit. Mm. You can't beat fresh jackfruit. I gotta give me a mango sting right now. Give that a little squeeze, pops right open. Look at that. One of my favorite fruits in the world. Oh. Tangy, juicy, yogurty. The queen of all fruits. All hail the queen. Fruits are a huge reason why I love Southeast Asia. All right, gotta go back to Manila. See you later.